How's it going everybody? Danny here. Welcome back to episode 3 now of our Legion United career mode in FIFA 17. And in today's episode, we have an interesting game for you guys because we've got the first Yorkshire derby of the season that is in the cup against Huddersfield at Huddersfield as well. So that would be even more interesting. It is a very good game to come, which you're about to see in a second. And we also have a championship game against Nottingham Forest as well later on in the episode. But this is the ultimate game that I was waiting to play in this entire series so far. I saw it in the calendar. I saw that it was coming up soon and I didn't sort of let you guys know about it. But... If you are from Leeds or you're watching this football, you will know that the Yorkshire Derby is very, very passionate, especially being from Leeds as well. Because I am from Leeds, I know about it more than other people do around the country. But I've been to a number of Leeds United versus Huddersfield games. And let me just tell you, the uh, well, the tension during the game is unbelievable as well. Especially, I, I'm going to say right now, both sets of fans hate it, absolutely hate it when the other team scores. I was at a game last year um, when Huddersfield actually beat Leeds United by four goals to one at Ellen Road. And I can tell you, the Leeds fans were not not happy one bit and if you've ever seen Leeds fans go at it outside of a ground in terms of fighting they are horrendous for that and they weren't happy at all and the Huddersfield fans let them know about it just by simply being and over celebrating every single goal like it was a Champions League final it was so funny to watch from my perspective but in terms of the Yorkshire Derby, whoever loses it, um, the manager's in trouble. So it meant that we had to win this game, let alone for the pride of Leeds, but especially for my job as well. I reckon that my manager rating would have gone down, or will go down if I get uh, beaten here. I reckon it'll go down, because I don't really know how it works in the new manager rating system. So if we lose this game, um, I will be interested to see, because if we lose it and then the manager rating goes down, it must mean that the manager rating goes down on, like, you know, um, derby games and however you perform in certain competitions that they've asked you to do. Um, so I'm guessing the manager rating is based on what the club is so who you are um, what your derby games are so if you lose them obviously manager rating might go down um, what competitions you're in and stuff like that I, don't, I haven't actually um, delved to, or dove too deep or whatever you want to call it into the whole manager rating system and how it works maybe I'll sort of look into that a bit later on but for now I didn't really need it because I didn't have any games that were of the utmost importance until now this Yorkshire derby is the most important game we have played so far in the series and I don't want to lose it so Fingers crossed we can pick up a result here in the EFL Cup at Huddersfield. Obviously, it's not called Molten Road in real, Molten Road in real life. It's Huddersfield ground. I can't exactly remember what it is called. But the first chance would fall to us as we manage to steal the ball from the Huddersfield man and have a shot with OK. But unfortunately for us, it goes agonisingly past the post. You're going to see it here in a second from the replay system. I like this new replay system. It's very crisp, very smooth, and you can see just how close that shot went from O'Kane in the uh, early part of this game into the second half now and uh, nothing really happened in this game until now when we actually made a few changes to the side here we changed the front three of um, Dallas, Antonsen and I think we had Saka on as well during the game we bring on Kamar Roof, Pablo Hernandez and I do believe we bring on Chris Wood as well to uh, completely change the front three that we had as we needed a bit of an attacking threat we didn't really have any inspiration during this entire match 60 minutes in so I was hoping that if we changed the front three we would have some inspiration coming off the bench in the likes of Pablo Hernandez who is easily uh, better than the championship quality player. So just fingers crossed that Huddersfield didn't score, though, from this resulting free kick that we gave away. Um, but as you can see, they're going to whip the ball into the area. It's uh, not defended by me very well at all. They have a strike, and thankfully for us, Robert Green in goal makes a save. But I, I wasn't sure if that was going to go in or not. I was, t I was tempted to say that that was actually going to end up in the going wide anyway. So, I, you know, even though it was a good save... It was probably ended up going wide as uh, Huddersfield were the one who, though, would break the deadlock in this game. It was really poor defending again. I've really got to work on defending during my time here at Leeds. And Naki Wells pounces on the mistake and finishes it off like a pro. Now, just as I was on about the story to you guys about me going to see that 4-1 victory, I was there. Naki Wells missed a penalty and Leeds fans absolutely hounded him for it. And he went and scored later on in the game and ran the entire length of the pitch, shushing the Leeds United fans. Just a bit of an interesting story for you guys. Um, so Naki Wells has a bit of a history with Leeds and he just made sure that he did it there as well as we managed to get ourselves back into the game a bit later on our 17 year old wonder kid in Ronaldo Vieira firing into the bottom corner after some nice work down the right hand side by us Kamar Roof as well was involved in the build up I'm not sure if it was him who played the initial pass uh, yes it was it was Kamar Roof who plays the pass into Ronaldo Vieira Vieira gives it to Kamar Roof and then he gives it back inside after a nice turn in the area and we made it 1-1 in the second half of this game Ronaldo Vieira getting us back into it to make it all squares at Huddersfield after they put in a 
So uh, well, a sloppy mistake from us, but a nice finish from Naki Wells to make it 1-0. And now we would create the second chance of this second half for us. As, as Huddersfield went forward, uh, a bit of a weird tackle there. And uh, we play a through ball with Ronaldo Vieira, who played unbelievably for us in this Yorkshire derby. Kamaru Roof using the pace to his advantage, just fresh legs. I should have squared it across the face of goal, and I didn't. And unfortunately for us, Ward makes a wonderful save in goal. Into the 90th minute now, as Huddersfield come forward yet again. But we steal it from them in the centre of the pitch. Give it through to, uh, I think that's Chris Wood. Wood down the line to Kamaru. Kamaru Roof. Kamaru Roof's going to hang a ball towards the back post like I should have done for the last chance we had. And who else but Pablo Hernandez to have the final say in this Yorkshire derby in the 90th minute of the game. Huddersfield 1, Leeds United 2. 90 minutes played here and I was so, so glad I saw this go in the back of the net. You don't even understand. If this wasn't, if, if I didn't win this game, I would have been so disappointed in myself. But I managed to come back. And I tell you what as well, Huddersfield weren't actually a bad side. They played extremely well during this game and the chances you've seen there. Um, yes, I did create a few chances and I did create more than Huddersfield did. But they were a very, very tough opposition. Take nothing away from them. As you've seen, they actually took the lead. But we managed to come back with two second half goals to give us the 2-1 lead. That was the way the game would end as well. So we're through to the next round of the cup. But in all honesty, I wasn't even bothered about the next round of the cup. All I wanted to do was beat Huddersfield. That's all I needed to do. I, wasn't, I didn't care if it was for the cup. I didn't care if it was for the championship. I didn't even care if it was a friendly. As long as we beat Huddersfield in the first Yorkshire derby of the series, my job is basically secure here at Leeds for now until something happens where I, you know, lose to, like, League 2 opposition in the semi-final or something like that of a cup, even though it's never going to happen. But if that does happen, then I deserve to be sacked. Um, but, yeah, for now, my job <laughs> as Leeds United manager is secure, which is something not a lot of Leeds United managers can say along the uh, last few years. As we have an offer accepted for Alex Owobi, obviously the nephew of JJ Okocha, like I mentioned last episode. He's going to come into the club and be our second signing of the season. He's on £40,000 a week if he does come here. So I wanted him on those five years. Basically, I was saying, um, if you do come for that astronomical amount of money, I want you here for five years and you're not going to get an upgrade on that contract unless you sort of win me the Champions League or something ridiculous like that. £40,000 for a championship player is very, very highly paid. And uh, it was a bit annoying to have to pay that. But at the end of the day, if you want the better players to come to you and play your, for your club, you're going to have to pay them the uh, more money than the rest of your players are already on. Because we did have the second game of the episode against Nottingham Forest here at Nottingham Forest as well. So two away games in the same episode. We haven't really had a home game this episode. And it's been a bit annoying about that because away games are always tougher with the fact that you're playing away from home. I suppose you've got nothing to lose. But at the same time, the, the home fans at Ellen Road are ten times better um, to be playing with, with rather than against in terms of that as anywhere is I guess you could say you know any home ground in the term of make your home a fortress um, if you're playing away from home obviously it's going to be tougher but Ellen Road just has that extra sort of little bit that you need I don't really know what it is about it but they do have some of the best fans in the country to Leeds United and then somehow they're only a championship club I don't really know how that works out they have ridiculous amount of attendance each game on average um they're just you know they're, they're pretty sweet in all honesty they have a very good backing and yet they're still a championship club so they do need to get back to the premier league and that's what we're trying to do during this series of fifa 17 career mode and I don't know if you can see there, but Nottingham Forest have Lord Bentner playing for them up front today, the number 14. He is up top, along with Henry Lansbury, obviously formerly of Arsenal as well. Michael Mancien, formerly of Chelsea, used to play in the Bundesliga as well. As we see, uh, Nicholas Bentner is playing away, well, playing against us, sorry, for Nottingham Forest. Lord Bentner is in the Nottingham Forest starting 11. By the way, guys, as well, just to mention... This game was also on Legendary. The first one against Huddersfield was on World Class. This one is on Legendary. So, like I said yesterday, I will be playing a few games on Legendary, a few games on World Class till I get the hang of it. And then once I've got the hang of it, I will bump it up to Legendary. But for now, you're going to see this is on Legendary. And like I said to you yesterday, if you want to see games where I don't really have too much going forward, but I end up shooting from like 40 yards out, and that's what basically all the shots come from, then you're going to see it in this game. You're going to see what exactly what I was mentioning to all of you yesterday um, in the other episode of Krima that we had, that... Basically, when I play a legendary for now, all you're going to be seeing is me shooting from 30 yards out, trying to get my shot stats looking a bit better. Um, because I just can't seem to break the defences down at the moment on legendary. I don't know what it is. Uh, I will find out a way later on, or maybe in a couple of months, not months, rather, a couple of weeks, sorry. Once I've played a bit more of FIFA, because like I said, I don't really get too much time to play it like the, uh, the rest of the YouTubers do, who this is their job. And Wobi has the first effort on goal for us. He's blocked in the... Uh, well, the early part of the game, uh, showing his quality to be able to get in behind the defence, but his uh, strike was unfortunately blocked. And that was all there was in the first half, exactly what I said to you. And just to show you how annoying it is to play a legendary, showing the match facts here, that was the only shot of the entire first half. We had one shot, and it was blocked. 
This is exactly what I'm saying to you. The games won't be that entertaining unless I'm playing on world class because then at least you'll see some goals. And, you know, credit as well because it's not just me scoring the goals. Huddersfield actually took the lead in the last game and we managed to come back and beat them by two goals to one. So there will be games that I will still lose on world class. You know, I'm not. I'm only human. I can't, you know, beat every team in the uh, in the game. It's going to happen. I will lose some some games on world class as well. Like Just like I'll probably lose some games when I bump up to legendary even though um, I'll have played a lot of time and tried to practice my best at it. As we create another chance for ourselves in the 54th minute here with Pablo Hernandez. Gets inside for a lot of luck but it's a great block by the defender as well for Nottingham Forest. And again, we unfortunately couldn't find the back of the net. Nottingham Forest will create their first chance of this game, though, in the uh, dying parts of the game in the uh, later of the second half, as I think it was Nicholas Bentner actually had that effort on goal, but it was easily saved by Robert Green. And Nottingham Forest almost stole it here in the 90th minute of the game when they actually had a strike on our goal, but they couldn't find the back of the net. And that was the way the game would end. So a nil-nil board draw, like I said yesterday. When I play in the legendary, it's going to happen. I just can't seem to find that little bit more that I need to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, and when it comes to that, it's going to be boring, I'm afraid. So I will be playing on World Class for now until I get the hang of World Class and then I'll bump it up to Legendary to make it more interesting. When we go to the Premier League, I will be playing on Legendary though, so you will get me slapped, or you will see me get slapped a number of times in the Premier League. But for now, um, we'll see how it goes anyway on World Class. But I am coming towards the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to drop that like button. As always, thank you all for watching this episode of Career Mode, and I'll see you all for the next episode very soon. Goodbye.